aerobic bottle and an anaerobic bottle. You need your butterflies, either the 21 gauge or the 23 gauge. This is a push button butterfly, so it's operated a little bit different from your safety lock butterfly. You need your vacutainer needle holder, tourniquet, gloves, and your two by twos. You're also going to need alcohol and iodine, or you would need a chloro prep if your person was allergic to iodine, you would actually use what is called a chloroprep to prep the skin. <clears throat> so, what I do is I actually get my bottles, and what I want to do is find the 5 ml markers on the bottles. Because we need 8 to 10 ml in the bottle, because the bottle is at a 5 ml marker, then I want to go up <clears throat> 10 ml from where the marker is. I'm going to mark the bottle off. So this lets me know that this is my minimum amount that I can put in the bottle. The goal is to actually fill blood up to the actual top marker itself. I'm going to do that on my aerobic bottle, and then I'm also going to do it on my anaerobic bottle. <clears throat> Introduce myself to my patient. Good morning, my name is Leishan. I'm from the lab. I'm going to be drawing some tests on you today. Your doctor's ordered three sets of blood cultures. So what that means is I'm going to come in, I'm going to get the first set. 15 minutes later, I'm going to come in and get a second set. 15 minutes after that, I'm going to come in and get a third set. Can you please tell me your name? Adrian Hernandez. And can you spell that for me, please? A-D-R-E-N-A-E-H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E. Date of birth? 06-24-94. Date of uh, ID number? 9725. All righty. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Have you ever passed out or fainted when giving blood? No. Are you allergic to latex? No. Are you allergic to shellfish or iodine? No. Okay. <clears throat> Again, it's going to be very important that you ask the shellfish or iodine question because if they are allergic to either one of those, then you're not going to be able to use the iodine component. That is actually where you would use the chloroprep component. Okay. So again, I like to palpate all three of my sites while I'm there so that I know where I'm going for the second and third step. <coughs> Again, your tourniquet should be two to three fingers away from where you're going to actually be sticking. If you're doing a hand, the tourniquet should be two to three fingers away from the wrist bone. God bless you. Bless you, bless you. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to actually, based upon the size vein that she has, I'm actually going to decide what butterfly I need. Big vein, big needle, small vein, small needle. So she has a pretty big vein in her hand, so I'm going to go ahead and use the 21 gauge butterfly. <clears throat> and with this, <clears throat> I usually end up gloving twice because I want to glove when I prep this site, but then I don't want to use the same gloves for prepping that I use for sticking because this lab is all about sterility. We're going to actually do our friction scrub with our alcohol, which is a 15 to 30 second friction scrub. This is not a concentric circles. We're doing the friction because we want to go ahead and lift off any bacteria that may be present on the site that we're going to stick. If your alcohol breaks contact in that 15 to 30 second interval, you're going to actually have to get another alcohol wipe and then start that 15 to 30 second friction scrub all over again. Okay. Now, <clears throat> look at this alcohol wipe. <clears throat> you see the dirt 
that's on it. It's not to say that she hasn't washed her hands today because I'm sure that she has. But what we're doing is lifting off that dirt so that it does not make these bottles positive. Okay. So we've done our 15 seconds with the alcohol. Now we want to do 15 to 30 seconds with iodine. I like to go a little bit above my site and below my site so that I have good coverage in terms of sterility. <clears throat> Unlike a regular venipuncture stick where you can actually repalpate your site, when you're doing blood cultures, you can't repalpate. So you really want to make sure that you have an adequate site for those. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry because just like alcohol, your antiseptic has to be dry before you can stick. So it takes iodine a little bit longer to dry. So we're going to let that dry. While we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get my bottles prepped. Okay. Again, if the person was allergic to iodine, then you would not prep the bottles with iodine either. You would actually prep the bottles with chloroprep. So, I've done my alcohol to that bottle, which is my aerobic bottle, and aerobic is always done first. And now I'm going to do my anaerobic. Okay. So, now my alcohol is done for both bottles. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss those. You want to be careful with the iodine because iodine does stain. Turns the skin on nice and yellow. We don't want to make it look like the patient is jaundice. So we're going to clean our arms off when we're done. But because it's in the package, it, and they put a little bit extra in there, you have to be careful so that it doesn't spill out on the patient's bed. Your bottles don't have to be done for the 15 or 30 seconds. They just need to be prepped. Now, what I like to do is because I've touched a bunch of surfaces with my gloves and everything, I want to make sure that I take these off because now I'm ready to actually touch my patient's skin again. So I'm actually just going to re-glove. Ready for my tourniquet. Again, if you're doing a hand, you want that tourniquet to be <clears throat> two to three fingers above the wrist bone. You also want to make sure that your tourniquet is not going to be in the way of where you're actually sticking. Okay. So, needles are considered to be sterile. Okay. Butterfly, we know from the other butterfly lab that be before we can actually take the sheath off, we actually want to pull the wings back. This butterfly is a little bit different. If the numbers are on the top, then the bevel is going to be up. Okay. This is a push button butterfly, so it's going to operate a little bit different. Hand veins, remember we want to anchor tight. We want to stick quick. So I have my flash that's actually inside the bevel, past the bevel, lets me know I'm in the vein. Same with the other butterfly. When you get flashed, then you know that you're in the vein. I'm going to go ahead, put my bottle on. I want to have it to where I can see that field marker or that field line on it so that I know exactly where when I get to my field line, I can go ahead and take this aerobic bottle off. Remember, we always make sure that we do the aerobic bottle first. So, I have my aerobic bottle. 
Now I want to put my anaerobic bottle on. <clears throat> and again, I want to turn it so that I can actually see it filling. And you can hold it a couple of different ways. You can hold it this way. I like to hold it with one hand sometimes, but you're going to have to hold the bottle on there because of the vacuum pressure. I'm going to go ahead and pop my tourniquet. Now I can take this bottle off. This push button butterfly I like because actually it's retracted while it's in the patient's skin. So I'm going to have my two by twos over my sight. Going to have my push button. I hit the black button. It automatically retracts back into its own housing. So now I don't have to worry about how I'm going to close my butterfly. Going to have my patient hold that sight. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, gonna try this again. Gonna have my patient hold that sight. All right, I have gloves on. That seems bloody. So now I'm gonna change these out. So just like our tubes, blood culture bottles are going to need to be inverted. So I'm going to go ahead and invert these. Still 8 to 10. Alrighty. On your blood culture bottles, there are lines that are actually on here. This is where you want to put your patient information. You want to stay away from writing or putting anything over the barcode because the barcodes need to be scanned when they go into the back text. Today's date is 2-25-15. The time is 09-55 and my initials. Now, I need to put on here, this is my first set of three sets, and I've actually gone into her right hand. So my second bottle is going to be a twin or a mirror image of the first bottle. 